Welcome to this fourth edition of the Ask Stuart Hour. So before I keep blabbing away here, let me just <laughs> let me go to the boards here and make sure that you can hear me and see me. So would somebody please just type into the question box anything? I see you. I hear you. Welcome. Hey! Hi, Sandy. Hi, Lori. Welcome. So I can be heard and I can be seen. That's great. Um, uh, I am in full color. Thank you, Michael. Uh, hi, Lisa. You see and can hear me. Beautiful. Welcome very much. Welcome, everybody. Um, just so you know, if you remember, the last couple of times we did this, some point during the hour, there, there was a, a weird garbling. And I don't know what's happening until you guys type in. So if there's something, you know, there's a technology situation, type in and let me know. Ain't nothing I can do. It's either internet at my end, at your end, or uh, a sunspot, perhaps. Uh, in any case, what, what I did was I, I operate on uh, Wi-Fi, very good Wi-Fi signal. But I'm now directly connected via Ethernet cable. Ethernet, direct connect. So I suspect that's going to help us. So hopefully we'll have a clean one hour and this recording will, will work too. So we can record this for those who have missed it. I want to welcome everybody. Um, you know the rules of this of this uh, Ask Stewart hour. There are none. So basically I talk about what you want to talk about. Uh, it's, it's your agenda, open agenda. I have a few subjects here. And while you guys get all, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, warmed up, uh, I just want to mention a couple of quick things. I think many of you have signed up for um, the webinar that I have on Monday. If you have signed up for the webinar I have on Monday, just just let me see um, that you're going to be there with us. Uh, it's a, I'm calling it a panel. I'd rather not call it a webinar because there will be no slides. I am basically interviewing my friends, Keith Lane, who's a VP sales with uh, Celebrity, and Alex Pinello, who's VP sales with uh, <clears throat> Norwegian Cruise Lines. And, and we're going to talk about, well, you saw the title of it. The title of the webinar is Group Blocked, Rate Dropped, uh, What's Your Move? You know, so this is not like a panel of, uh, 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 an accusatory panel of uh, saying, you know, why do you drop your rates and you have to protect us and we don't like your policies at all. It's a discussion. We, we want to understand uh, why these things happen. And yeah, we'd, I'd like to know. I'm going to ask what, what their individual policies are. Uh, should this happen? What do they do? Do they protect you? Do they not? Uh, and, and just source some new ideas, some fresh ideas. These guys are in the hot seat. And they're friends, and I'm going to put them in the hot seat. But uh, it's, you know, it's going to be a, a friendly discussion. I want it to be productive. So if any of you have um, questions or issues you want me to, me to bring up, Certainly, we, we can do it during the webinar, uh, the panel. Let me know. We talk about it here today. So I just want to make sure if you signed up. So I'm going to just take a look here. Sandy, you're going to be there. Wonderful. Laura, you signed up for it too. That's great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So uh, the other thing is nobody yet has been brave enough to uh, uh, enable their microphone or ask me to unmute your mic. You got it. You have to ask me to do it, and it, it, or show your webcam, like because we can. We'll be split screen. Just ask your question. You don't have to stay long. Uh, it could be just your voice for a minute, just your face for a minute. Um, one of these days, I'm going to show up in my pajamas. So if that makes you more comfortable, then that's fine. But it would be lo lovely to hear somebody's voice. In any case, um, what's on your mind? As a therapist would say. What's going well? <laughs> I'm kidding. This is not therapy. In any case, I've had a great couple of weeks. Uh, we have a whole bunch of new group boot campers in, and um, we have some new folks who are in today on what I call a, a test drive. So for our boot campers, uh, I want to make this offer to you. If you guys know of agents who need to be here in boot camp, okay, um, I would be delighted to give them what's called test drive. Test drive is one week uh, inside boot camp. They, they will see uh, you guys, uh, Sandy and, and Lori and Lisa, you're seeing uh, week one of what I got to offer. You know, um, hopefully it's making a big enough impression. You make the decision. If it's for you, you'll be here. If it's not, you've had a great time. 
You know, you guys are friends too. I know you guys. So it's awesome to have you here. But for my boot campers, you know, referrals. I haven't boldly asked for referrals yet, and I'm going to because that's one of the things I encourage all agents, all entrepreneurs to do is boldly ask for referrals. Be bold about it. So friends, send me your colleagues. Send me your your um, your friends, your associates. And if the product isn't right, they won't buy it. That's okay. We're still friends. But if it is, then we can help more people. We can book more groups because I do. I am. We will, not I, start a group revolution here. I feel it. I see it in your emails. I see the progress that everybody's making and some of the new ideas that are happening. So I am going here. Oh, Mitch said he was going to be he's going to be brave enough to do it. That's cool. And by the way, I would like to wish Mitch a happy birthday, a belated happy birthday. Yes, it, apparently I think it happened on Sunday. Um, and Mitch, a belated happy birthday to you. Uh, 30 suits you well. You look wonderful. Uh, you look a little younger than that, but I understand it's 30. But uh, uh, happy birthday, Mitch. Okay. Um, Mitch also wants a Tesla, chest drive a Tesla. I can't arrange that, but you can. And, and, and I would like to do that too, actually. I think they're very cool cars. My son's a huge fan. Um, so I'm going to open up the board now to questions. I'm, I'm just blabbing here, giving you guys time. So let me see what you got written here. Uh, Mitch, he has a group that wants to do a group in the fall. What is the best way to approach the supplier to set this up? Okay. Um, you're very welcome for wishing a happy birthday, Mitch. All right. So Mitch, let me ask you a question, Mitch. Do you, um, do you want me to enable your, just type in Mitch, if you want me to enable your, take you off of mute. If not, that's okay. If so, then you can you can ask the question right out. And while you're answering that question, I want to welcome Jean Ann. Hi, Jean Ann. By the way, Jean Ann, that that uh, not a mantra, but your statement there. Uh, Jean Ann uh, sent me sort of a, a two paragraph overview of who she is, what she does. You know, so it's longer than an elevator speech, really. Um, I love it. It is so powerful and you are so focused. So good luck with it. I'm eager to hear how it hits people and and, and um, that you feel comfortable speaking it and writing it. Welcome, Carl. It's great to see you here. Um, Patty is in the house. Welcome. You're a new boot camper. This is your first Ask Stuart Hour, Patty. It's great to have you here. And Shanta. Welcome, Shanta. I think you've been you've been in, in the Ask Stuart Hours before. It's great to have you here. Welcome, everybody, and, and Michael. This is great. We'll see somebody else will pop in, too. So Mitch said, yes, he's, we're going to enable his microphone. So bear with me here, and let's see if it works here. Unmute. Hey, Mitch, can you hear me? Mitch, testing one, two. I hear a, a low hum. I can't hear you, Mitch. Nobody else can either. What's up with the microphone there? Um, Wait. There it is. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Hi, Mitch. Hey, Stuart. How are you? I'm wonderful. It is, you know, all we've been doing is emailing. We haven't talked, so it's a delight to hear your voice. Thank you very much. The same back at you, sir. Thank you. Uh, though the question I have was a couple people came to me and they said, you know, we're interested in doing like a Greek cruise and we'll do it at the fall. So the question is, when somebody poses that kind of a group uh, question at you, what's the best way to approach a supplier and say, hey, I've got this group, uh, approximately 15 cabins, 20 cabins. What can you do for me? Yep. What's, uh, just the best way to approach that so that we get the best value as the, as the agent, we get the best deal, the client gets the best amenities, just looking for the solid first approach. Yep. <clears throat> That's great. Great question. So you said Greek, uh, Greek uh, to visit Greece, Europe? Yes, sir. East, Eastern Med? Wonderful. Uh, uh, I would I would suggest this. The first thing that strikes me, Mitch. Oh, by the way, do you want me to keep your mic off or shut your mic? Do you want to keep it on while we talk about this? You can turn it off while you're explaining. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate it, buddy. All right. Thank you. Hey, Mitch. Uh, awesome that you enabled your microphone. Courageous. And it was, was it, was it painless? And who knows, maybe next time I'll enable the camera. Cool. But then that, that might scare too many people. I don't know. <laughs> you <laughs> are a pioneer. All right, I'm going to put you on mute, but if you anybody else or you want to come back off mute, just let me know they're not happy to do it, okay? Thanks, Stuart. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> here, here's what I'd like to say there. Um, you have this group group opportunity. Um, the, 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 I believe the, the most important 
uh, uh, stakeholder because there's various stakeholders. The supplier is a stakeholder, uh, and, and of course your customer is a stakeholder, <clears throat> is to first uh, figure out uh, what product is going to be best for them because uh, I've got to believe that um, not all of the products out there are going to be perfect. So, you know, during the qualification process, while you're qualifying, and by the way, I don't know if you've gotten to this module yet in boot camp, but <clears throat> excuse me, to me, qualifying and presenting overlap, right? So as you're qualifying, which is what? Getting feedback, asking questions. What do you need? What do you want? Uh, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? You know, shooting out different things. Um, and they say, yes, they say, no, you repeat what they say. So they can say yes and no. See what you right? You've heard that mirroring. It's a very basic sales way of selling. Uh, so you're, you're, you're asking questions, you're representing it. So they're like, Oh wow, you get it. You're amazing. Well, not really. I'm just repeating back what you said to me. <clears throat> Don't tell them. Um, so number one, narrow, narrow it down. Now, if it was just one product or supplier, I like to call it a product or a brand, uh, then that's it. But clearly, uh, knowing the people, what their expectations are, where they've traveled to before, you know, all of the things you go into qualifying, I'm not going to go into that level of detail, at least narrow it down. And perhaps they have requests, Mitch. I don't know if they said, oh, yeah, we're, you know, we're big celebrity fans, we're big Royal fans, we're big Norwegian fans, we're big MSC fans, we're big Regent fans. I mean, what if out of the blue they say, you know, we're, we're Silver Sea fans? And, and you don't ask that question. You come back offering um, – you know, a more mass market product, eh, not going to get the group. So you never know what they've done in the past. And that would really be the group viability test, which is uh, the last video in week one. <clears throat> and for our test drivers, make sure you see that group viability test. Okay. So now that you have that, you have one or two, it'd be great if you had one or two uh, now or down that, that during the qualifying process, you know, they're interested in uh, next you, uh, Look at both suppliers and say, okay, who do I have a relationship with? Okay, that's what I would do. Who do I have a relationship with? When I say relationship, uh, I mean, do I, do I have a relationship with it, with the BDM or the DSM? Do I know who they are? Because that, that helps. I mean, there's no doubt you're going to have a better chance of getting greater support. It'll be more comfortable if you know them. Um, so, you know, you're kind of balancing the scales here. Who do I know? The next thing would be um, they're, they're – um, uh, their, their terms and conditions, their policies and procedures. Um, uh, d d is there one company that's easier to do business with than the other? Is there one company, to, you know, that, that I would enjoy working with, right? Uh, of course, you're going to look at commission too, but don't necessarily let the commission drive you. I know a lot of times we pick, oh, uh, they pay me 13%, they pay me 14 or da 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 um, You know, because you don't want to, you know what, because for a couple of points, remember, if you remember in boot camp, I don't talk about commissions. I don't believe in commissions. That's just what they're, they're nice enough to pay you. It's like a tip, a gratuity. Remember I say, you know, net it down and mark it back up because you're not going to present just the product. You're going to present a package uh, and you, you're going to write your own ticket for the, um, for the for your income, for your earnings, your own commission, if you will, your markup, better yet said. Okay, look at that. And, you know, I'd be remiss, Mitch, if I didn't if I didn't say this, you know, loyalty. You know, when I when I first said who you have a relationship, I should have included in there the word loyalty. Um, and by the way, while I'm blabbing away here, and I'll, I'll try to condense it, but type in your stuff because I promise you I will come up for air. Have a cup of uh, freshly uh, uh, French press brewed organic bean coffee, mm. and um, and see what your comments are because I want to get. I love best practices, so. Maybe Sandy, maybe Shantha, maybe Lori, Michael, you have a stuff you want to throw out too. Agree with me, disagree, have your own tips. But loyalty, what suppliers have been loyal to you? What suppliers do you want to keep being loyal to? Building up revenue, to? you love their product, they do great by you. You know, you, you, you have a great relationship, so you ask for a favor, they're going to come through. You ask for a co op, they're going to come through. Okay. Um, and, and then, you know, if it still comes down to a choice of two, um, then, then look at products, compare products side by side, look at opportunities, look at opportunities, gap points, gap points are important. I assume you all know what gap points are, those amenity points, whatever they call them. If you don't, let me know in the question board. I'll, I'll 
I'll just give you a quick explanation of that. Um, uh, because, you know, there's no doubt the cruise ships are competitively priced against each other, right? Just like the airlines. Oh, sorry. Did I mention airlines? Um, yes, I did hold my nose. Uh, because it irritates me. I mean, gas prices are down, 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 and we're paying through the roof for airline tickets. Sorry. On occasion, I, I give a little rant, a little rant and a little rage, but I'll be okay. Um, so they'll be priced competitively, but if they need help on a date, they're going to they're gonna give you the opportunity. You know, they're going to say, you know, there's some extra amenity points or these rates are lower or we're going to waive the deposits. You guys know that. So I mean, there's a lot of factors, Mitch, here, but that's how I would come to that supplier. And and so if you notice, the very last thing I said was to call and get rates. That was the last thing. Really. I mean, first, your first and most important stakeholder is the client. Is it what's what product is right? Number two, what 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 product is right for me, the agent, to do business with in terms of loyalty, relationship, blah, 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 blah. And then back into, um, you know, getting rates and, 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 and then negotiating. That's a whole other step, Mitch, which is negotiating. And everybody, we're talking everybody here, negotiating because you all and I both know, I mean, that some of the, sometimes this is negotiable. If you ask, say, listen, uh, can I have an extra point here? Uh, or you work with your BDM, you submit a little proposal for co-op and there's a module in boot camp. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet for co-op. I mean, I was a BDM for years. I was a DSM for years with the cruise lines. That's how, that's how I started off after marketing. Um, and I give money for groups. I want groups as a BDM DSM. And if you've got a good group, Mitch, and especially Europe, that's good revenue, man. Uh, and you come to me with a good plan. You're not asking for too much money. We're going to do 50-50 or whatever. Um, then, then yeah, let's negotiate. I'll give you some money. Not only that, but I'll help do the presentation with you. I'll give you collateral materials for you. And you know what? Let me make a phone call and see if I get it you pointed to. Because most BDMs or DSMs have, have some stuff in their pocket. They got some stuff up their sleeve. And guess what? I'll end on this. I'm going to check the comments and questions. Um, if they can't help you, because maybe they just can't. It's not available. It's a heavily selling date, which you should take into consideration, right? If it's a date that's selling well and it's tough to get space and there's no gimmies, there's no negotiating, the rates are high, uh, they're going to give you a short window to sell, maybe you should think about another product. Because I don't know if you've ever had the rug pulled out from under you where they come back and go, sorry, we need your space back. Hmm. Right. So, you know, keep those things in consideration uh, and then you can go negotiate because, like I said, they have it and, and they can also support you in a lot of different ways, not just with rates or amenities, but also support. OK, I'm going to zip it up. I'm going to look at the questions here. Hold on here. There's a lot going on. Uh, um, uh, Mitch said he's having a meeting with the group leaders. He will drill into the qualification process. Then, great. And I don't know if you guys like my uh, group lead sheet. Um, don't give it to them to fill out. But. Um, I hope that will help you. Uh, for instance, uh, you, you know, I, I try to create a group lead worksheet so that you don't forget what questions to ask. Make it your own, you know, uh, but make sure you have you go in, Mitch, obviously uh, prepared so you know what information you want to leave with, you know, because sometimes, you know, we, we if we don't write it down, if we're not prepared, we forget and we got to make phone calls or we just make assumptions. I don't tell you about assumptions. Okay. Uh, Mitch, one of them is a Greek mythology expert. Now that is interesting. Very interesting. So am I smelling a theme here, an opportunity? So clearly also they're probably going to know the itinerary very well. They're going to really, really want an experience. See this, I'm getting excited now. If I could if I could, because I usually like to stand up when I talk because it's just easier. Um, and a lot of people think I'm Italian because I move my hands a lot, but I'm really not. I'm not. I'll sit on my hands. That's okay. But uh, I, I, it really sounds like an interesting opportunity to do some theme and to build in some great excursions and some special events if they want to. 
Don't take it from me, ask them, because they he may say, no, it's just a secret. Don't tell my friends I'm a Greek mythology expert, because they won't believe me. They'll think I'm just a, a myth. Okay, uh, Mitch, uh, these crews can be booked directly through other package suppliers. I have no direct relationship but have, uh, with suppliers who contract for groups based on the board. Okay, well, listen, um, I will tell you that if – if you don't have a relationship with this particular supplier and, and you make a phone call, I'm just saying, anybody ever done this before? You make a phone call to the supplier say, listen, I don't know you. You don't know me, but I got a piece of business for you. You want to talk? Are you interested in a group? And if they say, eh, let me check my book. I don't know if I can make it. Tell me a little bit about it now. Uh, then maybe you move on. But if they, you know, if they drop everything, you say, let's talk. What are the details? Of course we love group business. I, I don't know of a cruise line or any operator for that matter who doesn't unless they're sold out. They don't need your help, right? Okay, Mitch, uh, you want to test drive the organic French coffee? If I would if you could. I mean, if this was a scratch and sniff, uh, you'd be – it's wonderful. It's just lovely. Um, yeah, group amenity point. Thank you, Mitch. Um, right, supplier choice. You're most welcome. Uh, Patty. Uh, so, Mitch, I, ho I definitely hope that helped. I know I'm going to try to get to everybody and go through stuff. And, folks, don't be don't be shy about posting a question or asking me to unmute your mic. Um, okay, we're going to Patty now. Patty says, where can we find the group lead sheet? Ah, the group lead sheet is in week two. Is in week two. Now, Patty, you're new in boot camp, and I don't know if week two has opened up yet. Okay, it's a PDF download, PDF article. So, Patty, if you need it now. Tell me, and I'll get it to you. And that goes for everybody. If 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 you're aware of something I'm talking about that's available in a future weekend, you're not there yet, and you need it now. Oh my goodness! Yeah, this is not about withholding information and saying, "Oh, you haven't earned it yet. You're not there yet." Not at all. I'm trying to like you know, like a time release capsule, like you take for a headache, and it you know kind of works over. Like I take an allergy pill every day, because if I didn't take an allergy pill every day, I'd have a fork itching my eyes right now because it's spring here in Memphis. It's 80 degrees right now. Um, you know, time released information too. So if you need something that's in a future one, like for instance, for instance, um, if you're, if you like, if you need to escort a group, okay. Um, and you can't wait till you get to week four. I, I've got a document there that's got 92, 92 ways that to escort the group. 92. I know what you're saying. You're saying, why couldn't you come up with an additional eight and make it an even hundred? I don't know. So read it. Tell me what I missed. So I've showed it to a few veteran agents who are who master the group business, and, and they said, oh, my God, I, this is amazing. I didn't even think you have these things. So help me. Uh, Jean Ann is recommending uh, Swan at Swam. Swam? I think you meant Swan. Uh, Swan Helic might be good for Mitch. Absolutely. That's a great suggestion. Uh, and Mitch, I see you wrote spot on too. And Patty said, please. Okay, Patty, Patty, I'm going to get you the group lead worksheet done. No problem. Okay. I am caught up now. Uh, Carl, Carl, what do you got here? If you have a guest entertainer act for your group and you price the cost of them and their cabin into the group, do you recommend giving them only an inside cabin? And if they want to upgrade, they pay the difference. That's a great question. And the reason why I'm reading it out loud, even though I know you guys can can read it as well, is because uh, this is being recorded. So I want the folks at home who couldn't be live here with us <clears throat> to come and listen any time. Um, I think that's a great question. Uh, I And I would say that, that that's certainly a great option if they want to pay the upgrade, the difference. Uh, to uh, One of the things I would suggest, though, is – you know, when you're negotiating with the entertainer, um, you want them to be happy. Now, some entertainers, they're used to getting, you know, the smaller hotel room. They're used to getting an inside. They may be used to that, okay, and they don't care. Uh, they'd rather have more profit in their pocket than spend any money. Um, but let me ask you this question, Carl. Um, I'll turn my answer into the form of a question. Um, are, do they have any skin in the game? Uh, are they promoting it at all? You know, do, do is it just another gig to them and they, they don't do any promotions? They don't announce where they're going and when? Or do they have social media sites? 
Okay, w would they just announce, hey, I'm going to go here. Hey, I'm performing here. You know, I'm not sure what entertainers you're talking about because maybe you can leverage it. Because, you know, I don't know if you consider them sort of a quasi group later or strictly entertainers, but I believe in, um, you know, sw giving incentives. For instance, um, you listen, you know, let's say the you're talking to the entertainer now and you say, um, tell you what. Our contract includes uh, an interior. Have you cruised before? You have? Well, it's a closet. You know, if you want to spend a week in a closet, that's fine. I don't want to, but that's just for whatever reason our contract here. Yes, a closet. Um, but I'll tell you what, um, I, I want I want you to, I want to give you the opportunity to have a, a at least a porthole or a balcony. So um, would you do some things for me? Would you, would you refer? You know, uh, and, and maybe even set goals. Say, listen, um, if you refer, okay, uh, and and they mention your name, um, it's sort. You know, you can get this. You know, I'm being. You know, obviously, you got to structure this where it makes sense, and where where they have the buy-in. If they're like, nah, it's not worth it, then forget about it. But you also want to get those entertainers to do a phenomenal job not just to pre-promote, but also to do a phenomenal job for you and to mix and mingle with the people too. And again, I don't know who the entertainers are. Um, uh, perhaps you can say, look, you know, we have uh, we have 50 staterooms blocked, but I'll tell you what, uh, if you promote, if you actively promote and talk it up, if we hit, uh, if we hit the 50, um, I'm going to give you, okay, uh, a veranda. No, I'm going to give you an outside. And I know most ships these days have very few outsides. They're mostly verandas. Uh, but if we hit 60, which is our stretch goal, I'm going to give you a veranda. Right, Carl? Because spending the extra couple of bucks out of your pocket is going to be worth it because they're a testimonial for you. Or, or maybe they'll do a testimonial. Maybe they won't do pre-promotions, but maybe you could do a little uh, a YouTube uh, a video chat. And get them to say how excited they are to be on the cruise. I mean, I'm going crazy over here with ideas, but I'm going to. I'm going to stop talking now so I can see what you've written. Uh, uh, Patty, you're very welcome. Uh, you don't see, really, you don't see the other questions or comments from others on the call. That is fascinating. I thought you did. So I'm glad I'm reading them out loud. Hmm. Okay, so Carl, good question. I was thinking just in general, but I like the idea of using them to also kind of be a Pied Piper. Great suggestion. It's my pleasure. Um, you know, anything you can do to leverage, whether they are actively marketing it uh, through their social media, their blog, their sites, or uh, at the very least, the Carl will agree to do a little promotional video with you. I mean, let, let me tell you something. Um, whenever I get hired to do a speaking gig, okay, um, I always make this offer to the company who hires me to do a speaking gig. Some take me up on it. Some don't. See, I know that that they're hiring me to be the keynote or to do workshops because they want to get they want me to be a draw. Obviously, they want me to be a magnet to get high signups for the conference. Of course, they want me to deliver a phenomenal product like your entertainer. Um, but but most of them don't don't leverage me beforehand. You know, they put me in the program. Oh, look who's going to be here. Blah, 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 blah. And Stuart Cohen. But they don't really go to town and, and leverage it. So I say, look, uh, is it OK with you if I, if I produce a little couple of minute video, 60 second video, and I will you know, just get it out there? I'm not selling anything but your conference. OK, uh, let me, you know, if there are agents who are part of your organization uh, who haven't signed up for conference or on the fence, I'll get them excited. Maybe I'll bring in a couple few more sales and most take, take me up on it. We didn't do this. I'm, my next gig is a uh, um, mast. Have you heard of mast? Mast is a, uh, excuse me, a regional consortium. And we have a, their, uh, their annual conferences in Seattle this year. It's at the end of this month. I'm going there. We didn't, we didn't do that together, but I did send out a survey. I sent out a survey that they sent out to all the members so I can get feedback. So I, so when I, as I'm designing my keynote, I'm prepared. So my point is any way you can engage your, your guest, your entertainer, and they feel more connected. Like now I feel connected to the mass people, even though we didn't do a promotional thing. We did this survey. I feel connected. You know, it just scores points, man. You know, I hope that helps. Okay. Is anybody else? Uh, 
Carl, does that help? Or anybody else have any questions or comments or else? In the meantime, while you're thinking, before it gets cold, I mean, coffee's a terrible thing when it gets too cold. Unless you put ice cubes in it, you make ice cold. Mm. Lovely. By the way, I bought a new book. Um, uh, I know we, uh, we talked about last time or the time before everybody said, Stuart, what, you know, what are some great marketing books to read? And I wasn't really sure if the question was about travel books. I did mention a few who were published by my friends. Um, uh, but I also mentioned just books in general. And I meant to have a copy here for you, but it's upstairs. Uh, it's a book called Get Naked. Have you heard about it? Uh, a few people had recommended to me, so I just started the book. It sort of tells the story of loyalty, uh, which I'm really, 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 really into loyalty. If you, I, I don't know if you guys know, but I wrote my own book on loyalty. Um, this is a bigger hardcover book on loyalty. It's called Get Naked. So I will let you know if it's great and if I if I recommend it. So let's see. I'll check the boards here. Uh, Carl, that was great. Good. Cool. And please let me know, Carl, um, how it works. Uh, really, I'm really intrigued, but you know, think it through, and if I can help in any other way, just just let me know. Um, Patty, you've read the book. Fantastic book. That's great. I'm glad to hear it. Let me see if anybody else has joined. Ah, Jalal is on. Hello, Jalal. Welcome. I'm glad you are here from Canada. Um, who else has joined? Uh, nope, nobody else has joined. Okay, we've got a great group of 11 here. So, okay, I'm open. Uh, Jean, Ann, what's the author of Get Naked? I don't know. I don't have the book in front of me. I will email it to Patty. I don't know if you remember who the author is. If you do, um, author of Get Naked. Um, I don't know. And if I Google it now, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to end up disconnecting the call. And I don't want to do that. Oh, by the way, did I show you this last time? This is, this is my phone. Yes, I went to a 6 Plus. I've never thought I'd be a plus size, but I am a plus size, and I love it because it's like a mini iPad. It's it's huge. It's wonderful. So I could actually Google it on here because actually I use it a lot for reading and stuff like that. I don't know why I showed you that, but I'm not endorsing. Remember, this is an endorsement-free boot camp. Uh, this is nonpartisan. Okay, Patty, what are the other books you recommend? Oh, I'll go get to. Um, uh, I have to go back. What did I recommend too? I love. Um, I love one of the one of the most classics of all, and I don't think I even uh, suggested it last time. The Dale Carnegie book, how to uh, how to make friends and influence people. Is that the name of the book? I know I have them up here. Um, yes, how to win friends and influence people. Zig Ziglar, see you at the top. Um, is a new Jeff Walker book called Launch that you don't necessarily have to read, but but I'm using that to learn to how to teach everybody here, which is going to be a bonus module I'm working on. I mentioned it last time. It's going to be included for everybody. Um, and it's it's about how to launch the group. Because and I do mention this in boot camp already that don't just say, okay, it's on sale. Come and get it. No, 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 no. You build up. It's like I did with boot camp. You build it up. You build it up and you go, okay, ready and now go. We're open for business. But first, let your VIP people in to buy, and then open it up for everybody else. You know, you got to create momentum there. Uh, but Patty, I will get you a list of other books. Um, and if anybody else is on, I actually have a lot of books upstairs too. I should really make a list, a reading list. You guys can see the stuff I read because I really love. Oh, I read the book called The Carpenter. It's a short book. It's also a story, sort of a fable. It talks about uh, amazing customer service and, and, and loyalty and how to get new business. It's called The Carpenter. Ten, another $10 book I got I got on Amazon, and it was great. Just finished reading that one. It's wonderful. Um, thank you, Patty. I know, Jean Ann, you can't see this, but it's Patrick uh, Lencioni. Patrick Lencioni. Uh, it's L-E-N-C-I-O-N-I. -I. Patrick Lencioni is the author of Get Naked. Patty. Thank you very much for that. Um, and Mitch, how to win friends and influence people. The free PDF is available through the, through the Gutenberg Project online. Really? That's very cool. So, so I'm going to share this now that I know that you guys can't read each other's questions. Um, how to win friends and influence people. Uh, there's a free PDF available through the Gutenberg Project online. Guten, Gutenberg Project online. So check that out. Um, and Jean Ann, yo, you did it. Yes. Thank you, Jean Ann. You did a search there. 
And Getting Naked, uh, the author unveils a revolutionary approach to client service that yields uncommon levels of trust and loyalty. Pat challenges service providers to be, excuse me, completely transparent and vulnerable with clients in order, vulnerable with clients. That's a big topic in the book, vulnerability. Uh, in order to overcome the three fears that ultimately sabotage client allegiance. Written for internal, external consultants, financial advisors, and anyone servicing long-term clients. Uh, this is great, Gina, and thank you very much. Uh, I'll just finish reading this. Getting Naked will provide powerful, actionable tools to help readers overcome the three fears and gain a real, lasting competitive advantage. Great. I mean, I'm excited. I, like I said, I just started it, but thank you, Gina, for that. Um, and, and I'll tell you something, I, I don't necessarily want to have a, a book of the month club, but if there's a book everybody reads or enough people read and you want to talk about some of those topics, um, let's do it. Let's do it. In fact, I just read an article from Guy, um, is his name Kawasaki? Kawasaki. I don't remember his last name. One, one, one book he has written, I have already read called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Have you ever read that book? Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He, he, he. He's, he's terrific. I've seen him speak and he's amazing. Um, but he has an article out. And if you want me to send you this article, it's PDF. I'd be happy to. Uh, it's phenomenal. Basically ha how to get new customers. It's great. And I'm actually using some quotes from it in, in my upcoming keynote. My upcoming keynote for MAST is entitled how to source new customers in parentheses, how to keep, how to keep them coming back forever. Uh, so I'm talking about sourcing your customers and having uh, uh, lo loyal clients because things have changed. Our industry, especially our industry, and, you know, the Internet and everything has, has impacted many, many, many businesses. I almost I almost got a little coy there when I mentioned I bought the book on Amazon because perhaps I've been responsible for putting, you know, Barnes & Noble or some of the others out of business. And that, and that makes me feel terrible. And by the way, I didn't buy Get Naked from Amazon. I actually found it cheaper from another website. Let me say it again. I found Get Naked, brand new, hardcover, not used, cheaper from another website. See, I, yes, I, I'm an Amazon Prime member, and I love it. You know, um, I really, really do because I use it. I order a lot of stuff, but I always shop price because I don't know if you know this, but Amazon, I'm going off course here. Amazon pricing can literally change hourly on items. You know, so the first price you see today could be a different price tomorrow. Okay. Especially if you buy that product over and over again, the price will creep up. How about that? Yes, creep up. Okay. Uh, Lori, a lot of my groups are destination weddings. Awesome. How do you deal with wedding guests who want to go rogue and book online versus book into the group? Okay. I want to read that one again. This is a, a great uh, oh, let me just say this, Mitch, um, yes, Kawasaki, uh, is the motorcycle, <laughs> uh, Ki is Kiyosaki, Kiyosaki is rich dad, poor dad. Thank you, Mitch. I forget. Uh, his book is here. Actually, I just don't want to reach it because I'll rip, the, rip them out of my ear. Okay. So Lori, uh, destination weddings, how do you deal with wedding guests who want to go rogue and book online first book into the group? Okay. Lori, my, my number one and plain and simple answer is this. Um, you won't be a part of our group. You won't get the package. You won't get everything that we built in special. Simple. And, you know, don't say anything more than that. Say, sure, go ahead. But you're not in the group. You're not on our manifest. You won't receive the special amenities that, that we've arranged for our guests. Um, and, and give, you know, you know, and try not to give specifics, just leave it like that. You won't be a part of the group. You're going to miss out on, on, on many of these special amenities that we're putting together, um, with the, with the bride and groom. Okay. Uh, so really whether it's a destination wedding or any trip, um, you're going to deal with this. You, you guys know this, you've experienced it. You're in the trenches. Uh, the first thing everybody does is go online. Oh, how much is that, you know, Greek cruise that, you know, that Mitch is selling? Oh, I'll see if I could buy it cheaper. I do the same thing. I check everything. Why? Because I can. not And if somebody was to tell me, don't check online, please don't do it. 
I'm going to do it twice as fast. So I would almost take an opposite approach, Lori. And I would say, uh, and this is, this is part of regular training that I do, which is, you know, because we look at the Internet as a foe, uh, as, as danger, as competition, then we're, we're going to be afraid of it. It's going to keep us on the run. But don't look at the Internet as a foe. Look at it as a friend. Leverage it. And um, scare them. Say, listen, uh, it's two things I'll share with you. Two things. Say, go ahead. Look online. Get all the information you want. Um, and then send it to me. Send me the links. And I'll be your truth detector. I'll tell you what you're getting and what you're not. I'll tell you what you're missing and what you're not. Okay, uh, you know, there's 50,000 websites out there and there could be 50,000 different variations on that product that you're looking at uh, with me on your side, with me in your pocket. I'm not going to steer you wrong. I'm going to tell you exactly what you're getting and exactly what you're not. You know, so so a embrace it and encourage them. Go, go to town because, you know, if somebody said to me, go online, shop till you drop. If you've got that time, be my guest. Only if you promise to send me what you find, because you're going to come back terribly confused. Because there's, there's, there's a lot of good stuff on the Internet. There's a lot of BS. And I'm a professional. This is what I do for a living. This is what you're paying me. This is what you're hiring me to do, whether you're the, the, the bride and groom hiring me or whether you're the guests. You are hiring me to watch your back, to make it perfect. And to um, to do more than any dot com can possibly do. OK, uh, I don't know if I'm going to remember all these things, but, you know, your resume, your resume is this. Here's all you can do for the consumer. Uh, and remember, if you're booking, Lori, if you're booking just an off the shelf product, then forget about it, because then everyone's going to shop. you, And it's going to be apples to apples. But that's why I say the package um, you can. And boot campers, you, you've seen this message from me in, in, in the opening agenda of each week. Uh, I'm going to validate things you already know. Okay. So bring me your stuff. I appreciate all the wonderful research that you've done. Bring it. It's awesome. It's great. Number two, um, I'm going to remind you of things you forgot. See, that's why you hire me as your travel agent because there, there's, there's a lot going on out there. Right. Do all the research you want. But this is this is why I get paid the big bucks is to remember things that you don't. And number three, to introduce you to things you never knew existed. That's why you're hiring. me. Those are the three basics. But then you can go more. You can say you can say you hire me to, to give you more value. I'll give me permission to create a package for you and I will give you better value than you're going to find anywhere. Why? Because it gives me leverage. If I build it in, I get to negotiate on your behalf. And I'm going to build in a phenomenal package offering great value. Yeah, it's going to cost you more money. But you know what? You're going to spend that money even if you didn't book it in advance. Uh, you're going to get there and you're going to want it. You're going to regret. Oh, I should have. It's sold out. Oh, I should have. It's very expensive here. I got your back. I'll take care of it. Number two, I'm going to reduce stress. I'm going to reduce stress because I'm going to take care of it. I, I, I will make sure there are no mistakes that I'll miss anything. Next, I'm going to make it more convenient. Like I said, I'm going to prearrange these things. It's done. Don't worry about it. I'll I'll take I'll arrange the dinner for you. You know things like that. That's your resume. I got a little off course here, but but Lori, those, those are all things that I think we need to say as travel agents because uh, and correct me if I'm wrong. There's a lot of consumers out there who don't know the value that we add. They don't get it, and I say we, and I mean you know I'm not a travel agent, but I I, I hope you don't mind me saying we. They don't get your value. And it's not their fault. It's your fault. It's every one of you, every all the tens of thousands of agents out there who don't make it very clear why you need me, what I can do for you, the value I offer. It's our fault. The Internet's not going anywhere. It's going to be here forever and ever and ever, which is great. Let it confuse the dickens out of everybody. Let it totally confuse people because me, I'm the pro. I'll be your truth detector. 
Uh, Lori, that was a really long answer to your question, but I hope it helped you and others. So I'm going to check now for comments. Uh, Lori, you're welcome. Oh, you're you're most welcome. I don't know. You get me going. You just can't stop me. All right, let's go. What do we got? I'm going to take a sip of coffee now. And um, and I just want to remind some of you who came in late that if you haven't signed up for that webinar, uh, the panel that I'm doing, it's going to be on Monday with uh, – not Monday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Uh, I'm doing another speech on Monday for the, yes, I'm doing a speech for the, oh, can I mention this to you? Do you mind? Uh, talking about sourcing new clients. Um, one of, a great way to source new clients is to give away stuff for free. Is to give away stuff for free. Especially if it's stuff that you, you, you write or you compose and you have it in a notebook and a PDF or whatever, and it's done and you can reuse it. You can repurpose it time and time again uh, if the customer needs it. Give away stuff for free. You know, not necessarily, oh, you, know, don't, you know, don't be that travel agent that, that spends hours and hours on the phone and then they walk away and book someplace else. I'm not suggesting that. I'm talking about leveraging what you know, giving away some stuff, just like I – Friends, just like I would do with boot camp. Most of you attended my, it's not a game. It's just, it's the way we market in the new environment because the internet offers so much free. There's so much free stuff out there. We need to do this too. So for boot camp, I said, come to my intro to boot camp webinar. Many of you did. Then I said, tell me what free PDF you want. I'll give you any one you want. And Mitch knows that because Mitch asked for all three. Um, uh, so take it. And now we have we have Sandy and we have Lori and we have Lisa in, uh, you know, on the test drive program now. And you're in Ask the Ask Stewart Hour. You're in the coaching hour. I hope it works for you. But, you have, you know, um, you know, look, if, if you like what you have and you want the rest of it, it's there for your purchase. And, and I, you could do that too as an agent, you know? So long story short, I am giving a 40 minute speech to a coaches organization here in Memphis. It's been on my list to integrate into the local marketplace, which I would imagine is on all of your bucket lists too. And if you do tell me, tell me if you're already networking on a local level, your business certainly can come from anywhere on the planet. But boy, wouldn't it be great to have some local business uh, and people to network with and friends and to get groups and so forth and so on. So what I do is, I, you know, I, I hadn't done anything, but I put myself out there. I was at a party, a birthday party, a couple of Saturday nights. I met a wonderful couple. Um, and, and, oh, what do you do? Guess what? She's a life coach. Long story short, we exchanged cards. I sent her a note. I said, uh, hey, Jen, I, I'd love to meet you. Um, here's a card. There's a card right there. I'd love to meet you for lunch or a cup of coffee. I'm I'm only been in Memphis for not even two years. You know, I'm a, a business coach, a performance coach, a health coach, but I, you know, I'd love to make new friends in the local business arena. Well, get this. Sure enough, we have a lunch date set, and and then I go to sign up for their. They have a monthly lunch meeting, and the guy who runs the organization said, oh, "I'm I'm afraid it's, it's very nice to meet you, Stuart." But unfortunately, we have to cancel our April lunch event because our speaker fell through. Talk about putting yourself out there in the right place, right time. I said, oh, Bill, I'm sorry to hear that. I guess if I had met Jen a couple of days earlier, maybe we wouldn't have to cancel. I would have, it would have been my pleasure to come and speak. Guess what? Bill writes back, hang on. It may not be too late. What do you want to talk about? Now, that was the worst question you could probably possibly ask me. Because I got a lot I want to talk about. So I went to analysis paralysis. So, oh, there's so much I want to talk about. I took a deep breath, called one of my best mentors, and I said, what do I do? He said, relax, lay off the coffee, and don't tell him, ask him. What do you want me to talk about? Same with a trip. If somebody comes to you and says, listen, I got to get away, stay on my vacation. You can't just go put together a trip. You got to say, where do you want to go? What do you want? You want to shoot pool? You want to swim in a pool? What do you want to do? In any case, um, this could be the most important free gig. It's free, free. It's local. It's right around the corner here that I will ever do because it could lead to lots of networking, new business, paid gigs, and so forth in the local market. So I'm just saying, 
uh, to source new business, sometimes you got to give stuff away, especially when it's coming from here, your heart and your head. You know, it's, it's, it's only costing you personal resource. All right, let me go back here. Uh, Mitch, uh, this is what Mitch writes. Uh, people thought that millennials will never use an agent because they are adept to using web search. True. Studies have shown that they have not gone, not that they have not got the time and know how to delegate or in their worlds outsource. Bingo. So to embrace the web as a time sucker and confusing source, it will bring clients to us that, excuse me, value or expertise. Mitch, I appreciate you sharing that. Absolutely. Um, while millennials are, you know, are fiercely independent, um, they're also more willing to uh, say, you do it, you do it, you do it. Yeah. In fact, I just printed out an article on the millennials. Ah, I don't have it on my, to show you. I'm happy to send you a, a list, uh, you know, that defines millennials, which of course you can read anywhere, but, uh, you know, if that's the marketplace you want to go into, uh, people born after like 1981, I think it was, um, you'll learn how to work with them. And there's no doubt. There's a ton of products that they'll book online without you, but that there's a lot. They won't. They shouldn't. They can't. They don't know how. They're afraid. Like groups. Like groups. That's something you don't want to book online. Dot, dot, dot. You know, with, with an online travel company. You want to book it with you. You know, that's why we're here. So, Mitch, I appreciate you sharing that, too. Bingo. Um, Lisa, I did just what you said. Gladly book it yourself, but you will not get the private group coach. The class is on board, on board amenities, nor the special private tours uh, in our ports. She came back and booked to the group. Yes. I'm going to read it again, everybody. This is Lisa commenting on what I talked about before uh, to an earlier question from Lori uh, about them, you know, booking threatening or just, you know, going to book because they will go to look to do that uh, outside the group. I had a person who has uh, timeshare points for cruising. She's, uh, uh, she's also cheap and felt she could do better. I did just what you said. I forgot to read the first part. And this is what, Lisa, you said to your client. Gladly book it yourself. But you will not get the private group coach, the classes on board, the onboard amenities, and the special private uh, tours in our port. She came back and booked through the group. I, lo I love hearing success stories like that. That's, that's, uh, that's awesome. Lori, you're joining. What are you joining? Are you joining boot camp? What are you joining? I just see I am joining. Tell me. Um, Lisa, uh, you're part of the Rotary. Cool. Lisa, have you done a, a, a free little talk? Let's see what they want to hear. I don't know if it's about business or if it's about travel. Um, see what you, your heart tells you you want to talk about and see what they want to hear. See what they want to hear first and then say, oh, okay, I can talk about that. You know, it's, it's great. I don't know if you guys have done that. Um Mitch, I arrived a few minutes late and you were discussing a session to sign up for. Can you please repeat the event? Oh, that was the session on uh, that, that panel with Keith Lane, VP of Sales at Celebrity, Alex Pinello, VP of Sales at Widget Cruise Line, and we're going to talk about group rates and so forth. Basically, the title to the panel is uh, Group Blocked, Rate Dropped, uh, What's My Move? We're going to talk about, you know, why this happens. Intuitively, we know why cruise lines and suppliers have to lower prices at times. But what do we do? What do they suggest we do? Uh, and, and individually, as companies, what, what uh, will they protect us or not? I mean, how does, how does it work? So, again, it's not about picking on these two suppliers. It's just that I called on these two friends, and they said, sure, we'll come talk about it. Uh, and they're both great, great people. Uh, and Mitch says, go, Lisa. All right. Um, Jello. Jello. Um, Jay. You mentioned about the book Carpenter, or I missed the entire title. Who is the author? I don't know. Again, wait, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Carpenter. Why is my book up there? No. You know why my book is down there? My book is down there. Hold on. Here we're going to get Oh, watch. Nope. That's not the book. I thought that was it. Sorry. Try to help you out. I will, I will post the name of the book. How's that? Sorry. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. This is a different book called, uh, this is a spiritual book called Priority Time, which was written by a, a local pastor here. Um, see, I read everything. I love learning. Uh, so, Jay, I will, 
uh, get you the the, uh, the uh, author of the book Carpenter, but my guess is somebody out there is early Googling it. Um, and Lori is going to join boot camp. Yay, Lori. Welcome. I'm excited. Lori, I know you for how many years? This is very, very, very exciting. I am most grateful. Thank you. And uh, welcome. Uh, Jean Ann, I had a great compliment from a millennial last night. He usually books online, but is traveling with his grandmother, who was my client. After spending an hour answering questions, he said, now I know why my grandmother books through you. Wow, Jean Ann. If that, if that isn't a, a wonderful testament, a testimony to your, uh, the way you service, the way you provide something very, very remarkable, um, then nothing is. Congratulations. That's it. That's, that's wonderful. You know, more than getting that dollar at the end of the day, that's what you want. That's what we work for. Um, is a Zig Ziglar quote. It's a bunch of quotes like this. One of my favorites. Uh, if you, if, uh, if you give enough people what they want, you'll get what you want, you know, and, and you're helping them out. You're helping them out. And, and she sees that and appreciates that. And you got the compliment, but you also got paid to do it too. See, it all comes through. Congratulations, Jean Ann, and I, I thank you very, very much. And this is a millennial who who may be coming into the world saying, a travel agent? I didn't even know they still existed. So that's why it's even more profound to hear that. Uh, I'm going to read this again. And he said, quote, now I know why my grandmother books you. Yeah. Awesome. Um, Lisa, I got started speaking, and then they asked me to to join the Rotary. I haven't done a group yet, but most of my club, uh, my, uh, most of my club, the Rotary are clients for personal use. And we have done fundraisers using RCL incentive vouchers and raised $5,000 two years in a row. That's awesome. See, this is good stuff. The networking and, um, uh, listen, if it's not about the groups just yet, Lisa, to do the Rotary as a group, maybe some of them individually, because you know what? Everyone is a part of a group somehow, somewhere. Everybody. So maybe if it's not a group that includes everybody in Rotary, maybe somebody out there has a group they can do with their company, an incentive or a family reunion or some kind of a celebration. Um, very interesting. Um, Jay, thanks for trying. I tried. We'll get it. I promise we'll get it. Uh, put the book list in the experts library. Mitch, you the man. I will put my book list... <laughs> And that's why these Ask Stewart hours are, are so much fun for me. And I appreciate this. I'm learning a lot. And, you know, like, for instance, uh, uh, I think it was Jen, Jenny and somebody else also said, hey, why don't you, can you upload the MP3 so we can hear it too? I'm like, why not? Um, uh, book list in the experts library. I think that's great. And I'll leave area for comments too, because if you read these books or if you've read these books, let's talk about it. In fact, I, there is this document that I mentioned before written by Guy about how to source new customers, the new customer. Um, it's a free PDF, and I'm happy to send it to you. I think I'm going to do a uh, – I'm going to schedule – nobody knows this yet, but uh, Mike Marshev, who's a very, good, very, very dear friend and a mentor to me, um, um, I think we're going to do a, a, a panel, a discussion, sort of a book talk on that document because I think it's awesome. Okay, we have two minutes left. Oh my goodness! So let's let's uh, take a look here. Uh, Lisa, she is current, presently elect. Wow, five years in Rotary, and many other club members call me call me due to referrals. That's awesome. Congratulations, president elect of the Rotary. Way to go. That's awesome. That's influence. You know, that's really really great. Um, Shantha, thank you. See, Jay, all I got to do is put it out there. This Google thing works wonders. The author of the book, The Carpenter, is John Gordon, J-O-N Gordon, John Gordon. It's a short book. You can finish it in one sit down, okay? Um, author of The Carpenter, wonderful. And Jean Ann, it's a story about the great success strategies. Yep, thank you, Jean Ann. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. You're very, very welcome, Lisa. All right. We got 60 seconds left. I promise you we'll start on time. I promise you we end on time. So any parting thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions while I take my final sip of coffee, which is now lukewarm, but it was delightful nonetheless. Anything else? All right. Keep your eye out for the next one I'm going to schedule. I haven't, no one said to me that we should really schedule them the same time. 
every two weeks, so I'm sort of mixing it up. I hope that's okay, unless I hear otherwise. Uh, if you tell me otherwise, then um, you know we'll we'll see what we can hone in on. I know there's never a time, a date that's good for everybody. It's going to be somebody say, oh, "I can't come." I always have you know my dentist appointment is every other week at that point. I hope that's not the case. Take care of your teeth because um, you only get one set. Oh, you're most welcome, Michael. I am glad that you're here. I hope Lisa's enjoying the program too on your team. Um, thanks for the offer. Uh, Jay, you're very, very welcome. Uh, Mitch, great info. Need to how to bottle my enthusiasm. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Just by you being here. That's it. You've got it. It's contagious. Take it. And thank you for bringing it to me, even though I only heard your voice today. It was great to, to feel the energy from everybody. And, uh, um, uh, looking looking forward to Monday's uh, it's going to I think it's Tuesday no the mo webinar is on Monday oh geez I gotta go uh the webinar is on Monday my speech is on Tuesday so forgive me uh if you need the link tell me I'll send it to you with that I wish you all happy sales thanks very much for coming to another ask Stuart hour I'm closing out the session now